This video segment continues our historical count of Earth's climate. It covers the period from one billion years ago to one million years ago. A key question is whether the changes in climate that we are observing today derive from human activities. To address this question, we must examine the history of Earth's climate. The four key points of the segment are, number one, climate and life are interdependent. Number two, higher atmospheric oxygen levels fostered complex life forms. Number three, mass extinctions occurred during periods of extreme climate. And four, major catastrophes provided opportunities for new biological life forms. By 570 million years ago, the glaciers of snowball or slushball Earth had retreated, and Earth's climate became warm. The continents were primarily low-lying deserts and alluvial plains. Rising sea levels encroached upon these areas and covered about 85% of Earth's surface. Today, water covers only about 71%. Without continental land masses at the poles, oceans circulated freely and ice formation was negligible. Photosynthetic organisms, which had somehow escaped extinction during the severe glaciations of snowball or slushball Earth, proliferated, and atmospheric oxygen concentrations climbed to about 15%. Today, they're about 21%. Multicellular organisms appeared. Again, this was not a coincidence. At higher oxygen concentrations, parts of organisms could be buried deeper within the organism itself and still receive sufficient oxygen to conduct aerobic respiration. Also, the thicker ozone layer in the upper atmosphere afforded greater UV protection, and organisms could complete still longer life cycles. A rapid expansion of biological diversity known as the Cambrian Explosion became evident in the fossil record about 540 million years ago. More than 900 animal species, including representatives of all modern animal phyla, appeared. Earlier life forms may have been equally diverse, but they were soft-bodied and seldom left their mark. In contrast, Cambrian animals had shells and other hard body parts that left a stronger impression and were better preserved as fossils in the rock. A devastating mass extinction named the Ordovician Silurian extinction occurred about 440 million years ago. All major life forms were affected. Approximately 85% of all species previously found in the fossil records disappeared. The primary cause it appears to be a brief glacial interview. Ice began to accumulate on the polar areas of one large continent named Gondwana. This initiated falling sea levels on the order of 50 to 100 meters. This drained the shallow seas that extended into the interior of land masses, resulting in a harsh climate at low mid-latitudes. Low sea levels also activated deep ocean currents that aerated the seabed and brought up toxic materials from the depths.